morning. Hi everyone. Me and Virgo here. We're going for a walk. It's about 6.30 in the morning. Um, I'm gonna go get some coffee and then I'm gonna do a little bit of work on my computer. So come along with me for that. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I got the pumpkin cream chai tea latte. It's so good. It's so good. I just left Starbucks. Um, I got the with the pumpkin cream chai tea latte. I got a piece of pumpkin bread and I'm so excited to eat it when I get home. This Starbucks is like walking distance from my house so it's pretty convenient. <clears throat> now I'm just gonna go edit some videos. I don't know if I'm gonna be posting like weeks in my life or days in my life. It's Tuesday, it's almost like seven o'clock. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys when I get home. Hey guys, I'm home now. Um, I'm just going to put some music to the videos that I took this morning and then I'm gonna try to go to the gym. I don't know if I'm actually gonna go. I took this week off because so a little bit about me is that I work at the gym that I go to so I get a free membership and I work from two to six every day so when I go to the gym I go from like 11 o'clock to 12 1 2 11 o'clock to 2 and I don't do workouts that entire time, that's like three hours, but I'll work out, I'll go to the sauna, I'll swim, and then I'll go to work, and then I'll come home. But my pool, my job is closed right now for renovations, so I kind of took this week off from working out. So, but I can go to the gym. I just don't know if I want to drive that far to only go to the gym. I'm, I'm pretty lazy not gonna lie to you i'm pretty lazy so but we can change that we can do i want to kind of am i going to yes because laziness is not cute and i want to be cute that was that was so annoying okay oh, all right come with me while i edit this video do my best to have fun want too much Probably let it flow, play and go. Don't stop the God's speed. Case I make mistakes, better learn and hope. Maybe this will suck. It's a chance of luck. In case I'm running late, there's no time to wait. Run, run, run. Oh, look at the baby. Look at my little baby. Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a little bit of painting while I talk to you about myself. Um, yeah, I'm just a little in my head right now. And I bought this paint by number set um, to help with my 
anxiety because I have a lot of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, what do I want to talk about though? I'm 25. I have a dog named Virgo. He's the light of my life forever and always. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of like mental health issues. I don't know if that's TMI, but I have to take a lot of medication for it. Let me show you. I have to take this many. Every day. Every freaking day. That's a lot. I think it's unnecessary. I have a meeting with my psychiatrist in October and I'm gonna discuss with her what I need to accomplish to um, get off my medication because it's too much. I don't really know what it's doing to my body. I have no idea, like, I don't even know why I have to take it. Like, I get that I have mental health issues and, but, I'm diagnosed as bipolar. No, I'm diagnosed as having borderline personality disorder. There you go. But uh, I had a mental breakdown like a year and a half ago. And it was a really hard like couple of months. It was really hard. It took a lot out of me and it really affected like my family it affected my family a lot I was living with my dad at the time and he was really struggling to deal with me and looking back I'm just so thankful that I had him in my life because if it wasn't for him probably would have gone off the deep end not gonna lie to you he took really good care of me and he supported me and he made sure that I knew that I was okay even if I was crazy <laughs> even if I was going crazy at least. But yeah, I'm just gonna talk to you guys while I try to accomplish this paint by number set. I regret buying this one because it's just, some of these spots are so small. Like, they're tiny. They gave me little paint brushes, but even the paint brushes can't fit in some of these spots. They're just so small. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna time lapse this until I have something else to say. Running late, there's no time to wait. Run, run, run. talking to this guy right now and uh i'm so head over heels for this guy like it's quite embarrassing quite embarrassing and anyone who could see the dynamic would know how embarrassing it is but you know oh <laughs> i can't even take myself seriously like it's not that big a deal but the energy definitely is not being reciprocated, so I'm gonna have to give up soon. But I'm fucking crazy. Like, I am so delusional. Like, the way that I behave sometimes, you would be like, wow. No wonder you're single. <laughs> but that's just part of who I am, and I kind of like it. Not gonna lie. I like that I don't care as much about people looking at me like I'm crazy I never really did but I was one of those kids who would like do bad things to get attention and that's also embarrassing yeah don't be those don't be those people as do as I say not as I do I mean you can do it good luck to you though give me some of that luck as well because when I tell you it's not working in my favor but it's okay. Um, 
what else do I have to say? There's nuts. I've been anxious. Like the other day, I was just laying in bed and I wanted to move so bad. Like I could feel my body like just asking me to go outside and I didn't. I ignored it because I just wanted to stay in bed. I was so tired. I was like lethargic. It was so annoying. So I called my friend Lane and my friend Lane is like super religious. He's very into Christianity. I'm religious, but just not as religious as Lane. Like I don't think anyone is as religious as Lane is, which is like who he is and we love him for it. But like, I don't think anyone's on that level. If there's any like nice church girls out there, I'd love to introduce you to him. He's a sweetheart. He's been taking care of me since I was a sophomore. Um, but yeah, I called him and he prayed with me over the phone. And it was like really romantic. Even though we're platonic friends, it was just very soothing. It brought me a lot of peace, the things that he was saying. But he gets a he gets like very I don't want to use a bad word. He gets very into what he's saying and I think that's awesome that he's so passionate he gets very passionate there we go that's a good word to use he's very passionate about what he's talking about which in my eyes is beautiful because not a lot of people have that within them or like they don't show it but yeah we prayed together and he made me feel a lot better about the fact that like I couldn't get out of bed I can't remember exactly what we said in our prayer, but it was quite nice. I definitely recommend doing that with like family or friends if you ever get the chance to like, my mom does that. My mom's also very religious. Um, my mom will like call me on her drives to work. She'll, sometimes if I ask her, she'll pray with me and then that's, we'll, we'll do, I'm sure she prays for me every day, but doing it together is like special. It's, I was talking to my therapist about it and she was like, that's very powerful, Michaela. And I was like, you know, I didn't look at that. I didn't look at it that way, but you're right. It's a very powerful thing to, to do with somebody. My hair is in my face, but yeah. The fact that I'm trying to lose weight right now I am currently 190 pounds and a year ago I weighed 130 and if you don't understand that's a lot of weight to gain within a year like it's a lot but uh, I gained all that weight because of the medication that I'm currently taking it just it just makes you gain weight, I guess. That's one of the side effects, but I told my psychiatrist who I'm going to see next month um, if I could take a different one and she prescribed me a different kind of medication that like she said wouldn't make me gain weight. And I haven't gained weight since, but I remember about a few months ago, I was just crying to my mom because my body looks so different now and it's just really hard to deal with because I know what I look like when I am healthy and the fact that I don't look like that right now is really upsetting. Don't get me wrong, I love my body and I love that I can move it and I love that I like have a lot more mobility than some people um so I'm thankful for that but it's just really hard to look at something that used to look one way and now it looks another way and you just kind of have to deal with the fact that it looks that way now so 
Yeah. Um, this paint by numbers is really helpful when it comes to like focus. It's really helping me with like my ability to stay on track with things. That and reading. I haven't been reading lately, but I want to get back into it. One of my coworkers, she, all she does is read. She's like a bookworm. She's, she reads very like scandalous books, <laughs> I should say. And she's so funny. Her name is Sam. Hopefully she sees this. What's up, Sam? Um, uh, yeah. But uh, I want to be a bookworm. I want to... Reading, finishing whole books makes me feel so accomplished. I haven't read, like, an entire book in, like, almost two years. Which is embarrassing. Actually. Actually embarrassing. Because I'm 25. Like, what the hell else am I supposed to be doing with my time besides reading? Oh. This shirt... I got when I went thrifting with Lane. Let me show you. It says, trust me, I'm a professional. And every time I wear this shirt, I think of him because we found it together and we just thought it was so funny. And the fact that it's like, it's actually not that big on me anymore. But when I was smaller, it used to be really big on me. And it's just ironic because it's not like something a professional would wear. You know, it's funny. Mm, who cares? Don't you know I'm no good for you? I've learned to lose, you can't afford to. Tore my shirt to stop you bleeding. But nothing ever stops you leaving. I miss Billie Eilish. Not that she's gone or anything, but I need to listen to her music more. I can't play any of my music for you because it's going to get copyrighted. And we don't want that. But I can sing. I'll sing for you guys. Just let me know. Just let me know if that's something you want to hear. Because it's... When I tell you it's trash. <laughs> but it's so fun. I want to be able to... I want to be able to rap the whole verse to... Um, the Remedies of a Broken Heart by XXX. Steady trying to maintain, saying things that'll blow a bitch to my friend. My brain can't fathom what the hate say. She say, he say, she say, how about me say, get a V say. What's that on my shorty wrist? That's an AP. Oh shit, I forgot. Steady trying to maintain, saying things that'll blow a bitch to my friend. My brain can't fathom what the hate say. She say, it's he say, she say, get a V say. Headed to the islands ASAP. Was that on my shorty wrist? That's an AP. Trying to save a bitch C A P E. Feeling like E T. Flying out of the Addy. Fucking on shorty. She baddie. Casual conversation. I forgot again. It's okay. It's a good song. I listened to that shit in the gym. Like, ugh. I can't sing it while I do lifts though, because it would definitely get me out of breath. This painting is coming along quite nicely. Quite nicely. I don't have a lot of friends. Actually, I have I don't have a lot of friends, but the friends I do have are like top notch. Like beautiful people, wholesome, loving, kind. I have this one friend named Zuri. Um we met on Tinder. <laughs> we met on tinder and we weren't friends at first and then um my mental health issues kind of got in the way of our like relationship and i pushed him away like really hard and he left as he should he was like i'm not gonna fucking deal with this and then he came back like 
um like maybe a month later after i posted on my instagram he's like you look so good oh my god and i was like thanks and we've just been good friends like ever since he'll call me like three times a week but he's fucking hilarious like you should hear some of the things that this kid says i keep telling him that he needs to do mic ups on tiktok but he doesn't want to he currently just got a job he's making like six figures right now so he's like he's doing really well for himself but i'm like can you please just make some passive income with me not that that's the only reason why i'm doing this but I feel like that's what he's gonna be like looking towards if he were to ever do social media he doesn't believe in social media at all he doesn't like instagram he's like for the tiktok band he like he doesn't get the connection part of it or he doesn't really care um but yeah he's awesome though he is so athletic I can't even tell you. This kid is so funny. I can't get over how hilarious he is. I hope he sees this. But again, he doesn't believe in social media. I'm sure he has YouTube though. Like, hopefully he'll support me. He doesn't like, <laughs> he doesn't support me on TikTok because he doesn't like it, which I think is just rude because you should make a TikTok account just to follow me if you're my friend. So you can support me in my delusions. My delusions of... It's not a delusion. I'm gonna get there. Gotta speak it into existence. I will be successful. And I will accomplish great things. Regardless of how challenging they are. Honestly, some of these little dots are so freaking small. They're tiny. They're a little. They're so small. I got it though. I got that. Actually, I started this backwards. So if you look, if you look at this, there's little numbers on them. And I started with 24, which is the last number. And I realized it when I got to like 21 that I was like going backwards. So I had to like, I was like, oh, maybe I should start from the beginning like I'm supposed to. <laughs> so now that's what we're doing. Dude, some of these are so, some of these spots, like what the heck, what do you want from me? Like, how am I supposed to accomplish that? <sighs> Goodness gracious. I need to put a headband on because this is like my hair is getting really annoying right now. Bro, I can't get over how small some of these are. I wish I could show you. Where is it? There's one that's like super tiny that I wanted to show you. I'm just like, no, there's no way. There's no friggin' way. There's just no way. I'm just gonna paint over it because it's in the middle of a different one. And I'm just like, just gonna paint over the whole thing. It's okay. It'll be fine. I know there's another one somewhere that I'm missing. Oh, I found it. Found it. When I tell you, it's just so small. But yeah, that's a little bit about myself. Hi guys, it's a beautiful day. It's so nice outside. I'm taking a walk to Target to pick up my prescriptions. And then my dad got me in and out, so I'm gonna go home and eat that. Um, yeah, let's go.
acknowledging like I'm here, like I hear you. I uh -huh. got you. I don't know. It's kind of how I do it, I guess. It's okay. Okay, so now I just have to get yogurt for my dad. Excuse me? Where can I find the yogurt? The yogurt. Oh, right there. Thank you. Remember to grab your receipt. Thanks. See you again soon. <laughs> okay, now I'm on my way home and I'm gonna go eat. All right, I'll see you guys when I get there. enjoyed watching. Have a good night and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>